Hi everyone, it's Nicole and this is the last part of putting some page kits together. So this is the last four page kits. Now, the way I look at it, it's almost like this is like the second chance for these pattern papers and these scraps because some of them are scraps, some of them are, are pages that I had put in other page kits and I didn't use them because when I put my page kits together, as you can see right here, I have one, two, three, four. And then before I put the page together, a lot of times I'll add a cardstock also. So I'll have like four or five, you know, pieces of papers and cardstock for a specific page kit. Now, sometimes I'll use a little bit of each of the pattern papers and sometimes a pattern paper can be not used at all. So this is what I mean. It's like their second chance because this was a stack that, you know, once I was done putting page kits together, I kind of threw the leftovers in that drawer. I kind of threw the leftovers of the full sheets of pattern papers, or maybe that was a stack of pattern paper that I had gone through before and tried to make page kits with it. And these pattern papers didn't make the cut. So this is like their second chance to try to make it onto a layout and, you know, be in my albums. And the same thing with a lot of these embellishments, you know, I might have taken some of these embellishments and tried to use them on some other layouts and they didn't quite make it. I seem to remember putting this sticker sheet, I think it was in a big kit and I never used even one of those stickers. So now I'm going to try and use some of these stickers on some of these layouts. Now, some of them again might not make it because when I put my page kits, I make sure that I fill it full of embellishments. Now, when I look at my page kit, I look at the colors that I put together. Now, one of these pattern papers I did choose. I think it's from the, it's a crate paper collection, the love, like it was um, Valentine's one. And it has all these little hearts that have different colors. So it has red on it, a darker blue, a lighter blue and some gray. So as I'm pulling these embellishments that I can, and some little black hearts too, when I'm pulling some of these embellishments, for this page, I'm trying to find some embellishments that coordinate with these pattern papers. Now, usually I choose between one and three colors and I just fill that pattern paper kit. And as you can tell, I'm kind of putting it all in the center and I make sure that I have a ton of embellishments. And once I have between, I never count them, but I make sure that I have between, let's say 30 and 50 pieces. And I make sure that I vary the type of embellishments that I put on there. So I make sure that some of them are labels or circles or tags, you know, stuff that I can use for my embellishment foundation. And then I choose stuff that will add a little bit of dimension. So stuff like chipboard stickers, and enamel dots. And once I find that I have enough, I deem it like, okay, there's enough stuff on with this page kit. I'll put everything in a big baggie. And then once I, you know, make X amount of page kits, in this case, I decided on 10, then I go through my pictures and see which ones will go, you know, I go through all the embellishments and I see which ones will go with a specific photo. And <clears throat> I've been doing that for years. And there was even one time that I had put 70 page kits together. Now that took me a bit of time. I'll admit most page kits, just putting the embellishments together takes about 15 minutes a page. And I usually do it in stages. I'll choose my pattern papers all together because then my brain kind of get gets accustomed to choosing colors. And then I go through the second phase, which is putting all embellishments. And then I'll do a whole bunch of them like that. 
So altogether, I would say it's probably half an hour per page kit, half an hour to 40 minutes per page kit. And then, you know, choosing your pictures and stuff. But what I find that is really helpful is I do this kind of stuff when I feel like being in my craft room, but I don't feel like scrapbooking. So instead of organizing, I'll put some page kits together. And then when I only have a little bit of time, I just grab a page kit and I can put a page together. You know, sometimes it's only like 35 minutes because a lot of the work has already been put together. And it's the same thing as for journaling. Um, when I do my journaling, I like to do all my journaling all at once. And usually I'll do that, especially if I'm going to a crop and, you know, I bring 20 page kits, I'll sit there and I'll do it like one hour at a time. I grab a journaling card and by this point I've already chosen my pictures. At that point I might even choose my title and I do the journaling. And the first page that I journal on, it just, it's like so hard the words just won't come but as i'm doing page two page three page four the journaling becomes easier and easier and then when i get at the crop because i you know love to chat <laughs> i just can't seem to do my journaling and chat so this way i just grab the journaling card that goes with that specific page and then i'm able to journal on the page without even really thinking and another thing it does because i've done my journaling as i put my page together i see my journaling so usually i'll when as in my page design i'll make sure that i have a spot for my journaling another thing that people ask me a lot is well uh, you know, you're really picking your embellishments at random. So how do you know that a specific embellishment will fit with a certain photo? And I have to tell you, I don't worry about that. I think we worry about that too much. And there was, I think there was a layout of my daughter and it was her, her, her picking her wedding dress. And I ended up you know putting a flamingo with it and somebody you know said but a flamingo doesn't really go with a wedding dress and my answer to that is why not <laughs> it was cute it was nice and pink it went with the colors of the layout and you know it doesn't have it i mean it's cute sometimes like i did a, a layout a few years back the one that really pops into my mind and it was of Mason, you know, playing soccer. And I had some soccer balls on the page and that was fine. But I've done other layouts where it's of him playing soccer and there's no soccer balls on the page. And it's fine too. I think we need to sort of let go of that and not stress about that so much. The pages are going to look amazing anyway. They're they're basically just decorations right and the meat of the layout is about the photos and the stories and everything else is what it's supposed to be embellishments and that's the way i look at it and uh, the only thing like i said i make sure is when i grab some page kits like this like in this case it's pink so as i'm going through the embellishments i'm picking everything pink i'm not looking at what it says on it because you can always cover that up I'm picking one or two colors you know in this case I don't know if I will or not I can't remember if I did but I could pick pink and black because I love pink and black together so I go through my embellishments grab a whole bunch I just make sure that some of them you know uh, I can use as embellishment foundations and other ones I can use as sort to finish off my embellishment cluster so it has a little bit more dimension i just make sure that i have a ton of it so that i can do some layering within my embellishment clusters and ever since i started scrapbooking that way i find it so much more freeing i i don't worry about all the embellishments fitting perfectly i just make sure that i have a nice little stack 
and then you know choose my photos and then put my page together do my journaling and put the pages into my albums and I am a whole lot less worried about what is the perfect embellishment for each of the pages and it's like I said it's free so this is the last page page kit that we're going to put together and then we're going to start putting these page kits together so I thought it was a nice amount of layouts to get done for this month so you'll see 10 page kits done with this and then with uh, my design team layouts i think i'm going to have four this month four yeah so pretty much it's going to be half the month is going to be layouts and then there's going to be some mini albums in there uh, I'm going to start my recipe one this month too, but I don't know how much of it will be actually featured this month. My goal this month is to get my mini album done for my books, kind of get caught up to, you know, August. And I'm going to start my recipe one once this one gets done. So you, you'll probably get to see one video of my recipe, my mini album for recipes, and then I'll continue uh, working on that in September. So I'm super excited about this month. I hope you join me. And another thing that I'm really working really hard on is I'm going to be having another Scrapathon in September. It was so much fun last March. There was so many people that joined and we had a blast. Basically, it's a video a day for the entire month and every day we have a new challenge you know something new that we need to use to make a layout and I upload a video every day and then I have a Facebook group and we chat every day on the Facebook group and it's so much fun so be on the lookout for that I'm going to be releasing that class around the 23rd of August, 23rd to 25th, so that you have a chance to get ready and have your page kits ready to get going for September 1st. But that's it. That's the last layout that I'm going to put together. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below so that we can chat in the comments. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.